Hey everyone, you may recall me mentioning a Tesla software update in last week's video that increased the maximum Supercharger V2 charge rate from 120 kilowatt to 150 kilowatt for compatible cars and added the en route battery warm up feature to optimize battery temperature for faster charging. Unsurprisingly, I decided to try these new features out using my Performance Model 3 and compare them to a charging session on a previous software build. The charging session shown at the top is version 2019.12.1.1 with the supercharger set as the destination in NAV to enable en route battery warm up. I had just finished driving the car down from 90% to 10% on local highways, and the ambient temperature was about 63 degrees Fahrenheit and falling since it was sunset. The charging session in the middle of your screen was also 2019.12.1.1, but with no navigation destination set which should prevent en route battery warm up from activating. I had just finished driving the car down from 45% to 10%, and the ambient temperature was about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The third charging session was done on software version 2019.5.15 under fairly ideal conditions. The ambient temperature was about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and the car spent 20 minutes supercharging at a different location before driving 72 miles to the test location, so the battery should have been good and warm. All three of the charging sessions were done at the Mojave supercharger on the same charging cabinet, so let's go! After watching that, it's clear that both the increased charge rate and the en route battery warm up feature do work, but the time saved isn't nearly as substantial as some may have thought. I did only see a peak charge rate of 142 kilowatt this time, but the extra 8 kilowatt that I would have seen if the car were charging at the new limit wouldn't have made a huge difference in the times. Is it a welcomed improvement? Of course! And I expect that en route battery warm up will probably make more of a difference for those living in colder climates. Slow supercharging due to low battery temperature isn't something that I experience often in Southern California or in California's Central Valley. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you've received a Tesla software update that includes en route battery warm up and you happen to live in a colder climate, let me know how much of a difference it makes for you in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you later.